Okay, Michael, uh, you think you know the answer? I do. So if you hadn't said, yeah, up until the very end, I was thinking along a different line. So if it's the case that we just want to choose, if, if this F thing that is scoring is, say, constant, then uh, choosing the best subset is easy. I can just choose any subset I want. But you said then it could actually be arbitrary and it is unknown. So the only way that I can know that I have the best scoring subset is if I try all the subsets. And there's an exponential number of subsets. So I'm gonna, I would go with exponential. That's correct. Uh, exactly what is the, the form of the exponential? Oh, I want to say n choose m. Yeah, but you don't actually even know what m is. N choose, is, n choose m is right, and it gives you an exponential. Good. All right. Thanks very much. But the other way is if you don't know what m is before you start, then it's just 2 to the n. It's hard for me to imagine what that means, given that you made that part of the input. If you mean just the best subset, then yeah, there's two to the n subsets. I agree. So either one's fine, because it gives you the same answer. Sometimes we say we want half as many, or we want no more than half as many. And sometimes we say we don't know what the best subset is. You figure it out. So this becomes like a kind of clustering problem in its own way, except you don't know what k is. But the other way of thinking about this is that, of course, this problem is hard. Of course, it's exponential. It is effectively an optimization problem over a set of arbitrary discrete variables. That's how I was thinking about it, because we always seem to come back to that. Right. And in fact, um, this problem is known to be NP-hard. And it's exactly because you have to uh, find all possible subsets. And it maps to 3SAT. I will not prove that. But it does turn out that this is, in fact, exactly the hard problem that you think it is. So given this, and, and by the way, of course, of course this problem is hard, because if this problem weren't hard, then most of machine learning would be pretty easy. So it's not that big of a, it's not that, it's not that surprising that the problem is difficult. So the real question we have in front of us is given that we've got yet another really difficult problem, in fact, a difficult optimization problem, how might we go about tackling it? And it turns out that there are two ways in general that people try to approach this problem. 